Welcome to the first tutorial on how to use Microsoft Office Publisher 2007. 2010 is similar to what I'm going to show you here. So by following this tutorial, you should be able to adapt to newer versions of Publisher. Microsoft Publisher is used to create publications publications such as if we click on if we open it up and click on file new we'll see that we have all kinds of different publication types you're not only limited to these publication types because templates are also available online if you were trying to find something that wasn't listed here there's a chance that you might be able to find it online and download it and use it now for the first assignment you are asked to create a greeting card using Microsoft Publisher. So what you're going to do is when you first open Publisher you're going to choose the type of publication that you'd like to create. We can take a look at different types of publications. I'm clicking on award certificates that's not what we're looking for but you can see that you have a list of existing designs as well as options for creating blank sizes for that particular design. I'm going to click down here on greeting cards and now you'll see that you have a choice of different types of greeting cards. In this case we have thank you cards. If I click on this little minus symbol you'll notice that I am collapsing and expanding the list of existing designs for that category. So we have thank you cards. But I want to create a greeting card. I have we've moved, engagement announcements, that's not what we're looking for, birth announcements, no, reminders, no, holiday, well that's a greeting card. I'll collapse it. We have birthday cards, Mother's Day cards, and the list goes on and on. So you can scroll down this list and see the different types of cards that you may want to choose from. If none of these templates suit you, you can take any of these templates and actually change them to your liking. So in this case, I'm going to create a card such as a birthday card. So I'll expand the birthday list. I can also click on it to expand it. And I will look for a format that I am happy with. Even if I don't like the color, that's an easy thing to change. Let's pick this one. Well, I'll pick this one. You can pick any one you want. I'll pick number 25 and click on create down on the bottom right of your screen. I didn't change anything else. We can take a look and, and see what this card looks like. It looks like this card has four sides to it. Page one looks like the front. Page two and three are inside the card or are they? And let's look at page four. So that looks like we have the front, the inside, and the back of the card. You'll notice that there are some existing uh, text fields and other design fields as well. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to edit this card in order to create it. 